Hello everyone, the mistress here for another story. My Dogs Went Missing, written by Rick Stays Behind. I've had pets all my life, so I didn't think anything when my dogs started barking the previous night. The living room had French doors, so anything would get them barking, even their own reflection. After a while, as usual, the barking stopped. I didn't think anything either when I heard my dog's nails as they walked through the ceramics of the floor, or when they got up on the bed. All the lights would usually be out by the time I went to bed, and I didn't think to use the flashlight in my phone because it was just so normal that they would get up on the bed and sleep with me all throughout the night. The next morning, when I woke up, they weren't with me, which was kind of odd because my dogs usually stayed with me until morning. I called out to Rayla, the more obedient of the pair, but she didn't come. I didn't make anything of it. Something must have gotten their attention. It wasn't until I was walking past the living room that something caught my eye. The French doors were slightly open, and there, heading straight into my home, was a trail of blood. I could tell it was heading inside, because the splatter and droplets kept getting bigger, further into the house. I started frantically calling out to my dogs, yelling their names, looking under furniture, even opening the can of treats to see if they would come. Nothing. I went back to my bedroom, because I was sure they had spent the night with me. When I got to the doorway, I saw that there were small paw prints of blood, or what looked like paws. I didn't know whether to cry, scream, call someone, or faint. My breasts were coming in and out of my mouth so fast I started to feel lightheaded. That is until I heard something coming from the kitchen. All sense aside, I ran towards the noise, but found nothing. I called some friends and family over after calming down, and they all said the same things. That the dogs must have run away. That an injured animal might have come inside that it was nothing to be alarmed over. That was almost a month ago. My dogs never came back, if they indeed ran away. I adopted an old dog that was used for breeding from the mill. We were still getting to know each other when one night she started barking. It was unusual for her, and she almost never barked. What scared me was that we were together in my bedroom. Her barking grew louder and more intense, until all of a sudden, it just stopped. She laid down and went to sleep, just like that. I didn't make anything of it, until this morning. I woke up, and she wasn't with me. The French doors were open again, and this time there were hairs and other parts mixed in with the blood. Again I called my friends over, and this time they were not so quick to dismiss what had happened. I stayed working from home that day, and around noon, a knock on the door surprised me. It was a couple of my neighbors. I recognized them from when I used to go out and walk my dogs. One of them had a Pomeranian, one of those fancy, fluffy dogs. She said her dog had gone missing some days back but they thought someone had stolen him because their back door was open and those fluffy things were expensive. One of my other neighbors was not so composed. You could still see the red patches from where she had been crying. She was an old lady that lived by herself. I remember her dog. He couldn't really walk right due to a tumor near his leg. He had some sort of cancer and would have to be put down at some point, but they were sticking it out for as long as they could. The old woman said she had found her dog, or what was left of it, near her terrace. The body was completely mangled, and there were chewed up pieces of limbs close by. They asked if I knew anything. I only told them that my own dogs had disappeared, and that I had found some blood on both occasions. Someone mentioned something about a wild animal being in the area, but I was too preoccupied and in my own head to hear the rest of it. At this point, I knew there was something out there eating our pets, and when it wasn't satisfied, it would come for us. 
Thank you again for listening to this story with me. Give me a like and a follow. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone. Love, the mistress.